It is a beautiful day in Northeast North Carolina. And today we gotta get going and get finished with the HVAC install. I've got my nifty little stand here from Mr. Cool. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I gotta get that unit onto here before I can do anything else. You see from the other day, I've got my line sets sticking out of the wall. I gotta get all that connected up to all of this. Uh, but the first thing, I can't move any farther with this project until I put that unit on here. I'm gonna ask Lisa for help. We'll see how that goes. You be able to help me lift this big old thing? That's yeah. what she said. I think Carl's gonna help you. Okay, we have the unit installed now, and it's become a great place to store tools. Uh, this was not an easy thing to do. Uh, having Lisa and I get it up there was uh, quite the challenge. It is a lot heavier than it might look, and getting it up there and getting it to balance on the rack system uh, was, was not easy to do. And then what was even more difficult was leveling it all out, and that's not the unit's fault or Mr. Cool's stand fault, uh, it's the fault of the building itself. There is not a straight wall, not a straight window, not a straight piece of trim or anything in this whole building that's actually straight. So it's actually shimmed in a bunch of different areas and it's just, uh, it's a mess, but it's up there and it's not going anywhere. Um, because of all of that, I kind of wish I had dug a slab and just put a slab in there, but hey, you know what? We worked with what we got and it is on there. So now my next task is gonna be running these line sets, which we poked through the wall the other day, down the wall over to the unit, get them hooked up, hook up the power, and then it's time to get this thing up and running. So pretty exciting. The main hurdle is done. That was the most difficult part. Um, now it's all the fun stuff except for the fact that uh, it's the end of May and the gnats are officially back. And I don't mean the baseball team, I mean the bugs. Uh, we kind of get used to that around here, being surrounded by farmland and them growing melons. Um, it is, it's gnat central. This area that we live in is kind of known for that. Oh, you live where the gnats are. Uh, we didn't know that when we bought the house, but anyway, uh, contending with them, swiping them away constantly, uh, but I'll get this thing hooked up now and we can cool it down in there. And not only will it be cool, but it'll be quiet.
feel the air. <laughs> I gotta take the temperature down. Let's go to 68. Oh, can you hear that wind coming off of that thing? Lisa has been working so hard in the beta section today. And I wonder, now, the, uh, wait a minute. I don't know if I just turned off this unit here. I'm using the same remote. No, okay. So you can use the same remote on both units. This one is also set to 68. Oh. I gotta be honest with you. This is a damn good feeling to be working so hard on it over the course of a few days to hook everything up, to click the breaker and hear beep from the inside and now to come in here and see that glorious 68. Now that means it's set to 68. The remote shows it too. The remote is pretty fancy. Um, I don't know. Let's look at this remote for the first time together. I don't know if there's a way to set like a schedule for it. I'll let you know when we do the final thing on this, but uh, yeah, there is some nice cool air coming out of here. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, Lisa is not going to keep it on air conditioned because she's weird like that. I mean, in the middle of August, when it's like 300 degrees outside, maybe she will have the AC on um, and then turn it off when she's done for the day. Oh, this feels so good. And it's quiet. You know what's funny? The only reason I can hear it right now is because it is blowing through the leaves of Lisa's plants. Uh, but when you stand here, you can absolutely feel, and it feels glorious. It feels wonderful. The project's still not done. I got a lot of cleanup to do outside. I've got to get those line sets covered up with this system here that I showed you a few days ago. I got to clean these boxes up. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but we have a very, very special guest coming to the fish house tomorrow. Uh, if you recall, in the very first episode of this vlog, day one, or it might have even been the, the video that I was announcing the vlog. I don't remember. It's been a couple of weeks. I said... We've been talking with someone about possibly making, a, making an appearance on our channel that has never even been on YouTube. Well, we talked to her in person last night and she will be here. I'm not gonna tell you who it is, but if you are a hardcore fish keeper, I promise you every single one of you have heard her name. She is an absolute legend in this hobby. We want to get this place all nice and set up for her out of respect. So Lisa's been working really hard in here today to get things cleaned up. And if you look at my situation here, baby kitty's not helping. I, uh, I have quite a bit of a mess to clean up too, including the trap. It's just a huge mess. So I think I'm going to hold off on doing that till tomorrow. Cause it's already almost eight o'clock. Uh, and Lisa's gonna be home soon. So tomorrow I'll clean everything up and then probably one day this week, tomorrow's gonna to be completely occupied by this special guest. Um, next week or maybe even Sunday, I'll do the rest of the um, cleanup out there and you know spruce everything up and get everything tidied up. I gotta tell you, I'm so excited. This is a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm just so glad to feel that air coming out of here. And very soon, I'm going to pull this window up and I'm going to kick that right out the window. <laughs> Hopefully there's not an old lady laying on the ground after I kick it that's laying on the ground going, Mister, Mister.
I like hibachi night because I don't have to cook dinner. <laughs> Masterpiece.